Good morning everybody, my name is Potty Mike and whether you have had a long night as I have, I haven't slept yet, or a very early morning, um, either way I'm glad you're here. If you've watched the match this morning you already know that Wales beat Ireland in the quarterfinal of the Rugby World Cup. Um, a surprise to some, it's a surprise to me and it's not a surprise to me. I thought Ireland with the way we were playing we were actually going to do something great this time you know but we didn't we we flattered to deceive uh, as we so often do when it comes to sport we have had some of the greatest sports people ever have come out of this country and they have been poor you know they, they've never really achieved what they should have um and you know wheels Wheels were good. They weren't as good as what they maybe could have been. Um, Ireland were poor. Ireland were poor. We were very good in the first half. We created a lot of chances in the first half. Um, we created a lot of chances in the first half. Not so many in the second half. Although we... I mean, put it like this. Wheels created three chances in the entire match. Ireland created three chances in about five minutes. <laughs> We just didn't take ours, wheels did. Oh, fucking poleaxed. Um, I think a large part of the problem was our big players. Guys like O'Driscoll made a couple of mistakes. Although he was fucking outstanding as well. Um, O'Brien. O'Brien was a big disappointment for me. Um, because O'Brien has built himself a reputation in the last four weeks at this World Cup as one of the best players in the world and it was a shame it was a shame just to see them fall flat the way they did they didn't look like they were actually interested a lot of the time and oh come on how did he do that <laughs> wheels actually did that too to us during the game today and uh, just when we needed to actually get across the line we uh, we were uh, a, a try down and wheels actually held us up like that oh fucking hell spear it's like fucking Goldberg coming out of there and if you that are watching that watch the uh oh <laughs> um, that ever watched WCW and WWE know what I'm talking about there and again, fuck me. I got a team of Bill Goldberg over here. Fuck me, you would imagine we're gonna get over this line eventually. There it is! Boy! <laughs> um listen, like I said, um fair juice the wheels, the the they were set up well they were set up to nullify all our threats basically our biggest threats had been uh sean o'brien brian of just goes always a threat um but sean o'brien has been our biggest threat really and ferris in the center and kian healy in the scrum and not one of those guys had a good game and to be honest towards the end of the match the last 15 minutes or so when Ireland really needed to be pushing you know really like that's when the last 15 minutes of a match when you're down in any sporting event uh, or any sporting discipline the last 15 minutes is where the leaders the heroes and the men that will become fucking legends that is when they come in and that's when they step up and fucking be all that they can be you know, that's when the fucking, like I said, the heroes come in. And uh, our heroes turned their back. They decided they'd had enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it was a shame because... I genuinely think we had a chance of winning the thing, you know? I think we could have we could have contested with New Zealand. Um we may not even have got that far. Oh, fuck me, I've done that again. 
Um, I need to stop giving that ball away. Ireland did that too often. It wasn't even the Welsh defence at times that stopped Ireland today. It was Ireland themselves. They stood in their own way a lot of the time. And I think at times it was actually afraid to be as good as they knew they could be. You know, they were... At times when we were right on the line, guys who are too good, uh, you know, made mistakes. They they knocked the ball on, and oh fuck me, we lost that one. Um, we did that sort of thing. We got to the line right there where we had them under pressure. We had them. We just had to tear their throats out and shit in their fucking faces, and we didn't do it. You know and. To me, that's not good enough. You know, I mentioned the people. I asked a lot of them. Did they were they worried at all about Ireland's uh, blip against Russia, where they went to sleep for ten minutes and conceded two tries, and people said no because against you know the the better teams we won't fall asleep like that, but. We did today. We took our finger off the button, uh, and we didn't just. We didn't do it. You know what I mean? It's just as simple as that. We didn't. We weren't good enough today. Um, we created the chances, but we weren't good enough to take them. And Wales were good enough to take theirs. Um, now the question that I want to put to you guys is: um, Do you want me to keep doing these videos? Uh, it, Potentially, if I win this, I would be facing either England or France in the semi-final. Um, Ireland have been knocked out in reality, so if I were to be realistic about it, I wouldn't be carrying on with these videos. But if anybody's enjoying them and wants me to, then of course I'll keep making them. I'll make one next week after the quarter-final or after the semi-final. Come on. Come on, you bastards. See, O'Driscoll is probably one of the best rugby players in the world. Um, the trouble is, he... Oh, you fucking rat bag. Uh, that's going to be his last World Cup. He's, n he's not going to... I mean, he's 33 or something now. He's not going to be playing... Uh, rugby by the time the next World Cup comes around the same with O'Gara probably the same with O'Connell and quite a few of our team that's their final chance at a World Cup um, oh fuck me he's away oh he's mangled um, <laughs> oh missed went for the fucking a Goldberg spear of my own and missed um, but yeah a lot of this team is sort of done I mean O'Gara already talked about retiring a few weeks ago whenever he didn't get played against Australia he talked about you know he was done in a few weeks and um, that w to me that would be a shame but the guy was poor today he was very poor today and I think he cost us on a number of occasions um, actually on you know six or seven occasions he he threw away passes, kind of like what I did earlier there. Um, he threw away passes that shouldn't have been thrown away. And he also, he fucked up a few kicks. We got one penalty and he, he smacked it over. We got one try for him to convert and we he smacked it over. But apart from that, he was poor. Mind you, when Sexton came on, he wasn't much better. But he didn't have anything that he could have been better at, do you know what I mean? But this has been quite a boring sort of a game. 7 they'll Come on, where's these fucking scores? Let's burst them out wide here. Come on. Let's bury them back here and fucking... Let's get this turned over. Come on. Pressure. Pressure. He's kicked it. And he's kicked it into touch. Wanker. But yeah, like I mentioned a minute ago, if you want me to keep going with these, I'll play the winners of France and England who are playing probably around about now. Um, and I don't mind 
uh, that we are no longer playing legitimately. And uh, for everybody that's getting really, really butthurt about these videos, um, get over yourself. I run a video gaming channel. This is quite a big event, so I feel fully within my rights to fucking make videos of it. If you don't like it, well, go fuck yourselves. Um, I'm not in the mood to be overly uh, diplomatic, so go fuck yourselves. I'm tired. We lost. My voice is hoarse because I woke up my entire neighborhood again. Um, so yeah, again, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> but have a nice day, obviously. Um, like, I've been getting a lot of messages. Take this crop off. Um, if that guy is actually watching this again, take this crop off. You didn't actually reply to me, dude. You know, um... I th I'm assuming you meant crap, um, but you spelled it wrong, you fucking moron. That's the thing I say about trolls on YouTube. Most of them haven't actually got the intelligence to troll properly. They, they don't have any form of intellect or linguistic ability. And it, it's quite embarrassing for them, really, if you saw some of the messages. Come on. We can. Oh, he's broke. He's broke. And Bo makes it there, yes indeed. Right at the end too. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. That's all we needed to do today. Look how easy it was. Just hand it to Dorsey and he'll break through and then give it to Bo for the line. <laughs> look at that, look at that gap. That was actually a nice gap. Wales basically did that to Ireland on a, they, for their third try. It was a uh, very poor defending. But anyway, final kick of the game. Listen folks, I'll leave it with you, alright? Peace, love, and puppies. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and uh, give money to your favorite uh, dolphin charity. <laughs>